The area of preventive maintenance in every angle. At the moment, we already have the maintenance items, the maintenance plants, and the maintenance cycles, but we have now also added the measuring points. You can access them by going to Create the Angle, go to Expert Mode, select Plant Maintenance, and type in Measure. Then you will see that you have a couple of objects available. So you have the measuring points, the measuring documents, and the entry lists. For the example, I will pick the measuring points. I will double click it. The angle is now being executed. I will not save it for now, and you will see that the template already consists of a couple of fields. So we have the idea, which is basically the measuring points. We have to link to the functional location, to the equipment, and we do have a couple of SAP fields available there, like characteristics from the QM part. We have the code group and the description, of course. When we go to the right, we see that there are also some every angle fields added, like the number of measurement documents, the maintenance plans which are used, and a number of maintenance plans. From here on, you can do some ad hoc analysis. For example, you can create an overview of those measurement points which are not connected to a maintenance plan at this moment in time. You can quickly do that by setting quick filter on of this is equal to now. And then you have your list. So this is a list of measuring points not connected to any maintenance plan. We'll get rid of the filter and give you another example. So you can also see those measuring points to connect it to a specific maintenance plan. So I can set a filter. We'll filter on maintenance plan, which is equal to 1000. And now you will see that you do have three measuring points connected to this particular maintenance plan. There's also a reference available to the last measurement document, and there you also have the date of the last measurement document in place. You can also see at what moment in time this measuring point was used for the last time. One last example. We can go to a particular measuring point, and for that measuring point, we can see what measuring documents are connected to that measuring point. So we will add a filter. I'll use 10,124, which is the operating hour of the pump. And I do see that at the right-hand side, I do have 192 measuring documents available for the measuring point operating hours at the pump. From here on, I can immediately jump through those measurement documents. By doing this, I'll have my 192 measuring documents over there with the available columns in there. There is a date. So if you'd like to see this in time, you can create, for example, a chart on the date. And I would like to use the outcome of the measuring. So not the count, but the outcome. Select the count. And form of the field to the max. I can apply this one, and then you'll see the outcome of the measurement of the measuring point in time. We are not talking about operating hours at the pump, so it means quite obviously that this one is increasing.